vital importance than a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go toe-to-toe -to -toe and head-to-head? -to -head? This is football out of the very top drawer. Stay with us, we have live action coming up for you every kick of the ball on EA TV. Well, I can tell you from past experience, this city is well worth a visit. We're in Seville at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Sevilla against Girona. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And he keeps going. Opportunity! Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. He's driven in the corner and clearing his lines. Looking for someone to play it to. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. Well, the stats are there for all to see. The visiting side with the best defensive record in the league, and they do it with relish. Well, they've been so hard to break down this season, and key to that has been the centre-back combinations. They've looked so assured, they've been excellent right from the start. And Nesiri. And now with Luca Bacchio. Well, for Girona, a very good victory in the last game against Cadiz. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, the fans certainly enjoyed the 3-1 victory, didn't they? It was a really good display. Today, I think we'll see them dominate the play, create good chances and win the game. Let's hope they play at their best. Ocampos. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Giving it a real go in the wide area. Trying to open up the defence. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Luca Bacchio. Marcao. Suso. On to Luca Bacchio. Navas. And all doing their bit to keep them out. Viktor Tsigankov. Artem Dovbik. And in with a real chance. Well, when it's you against the goalkeeper, I'm sorry, you've got to do better. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Garcia. Oh, they've lost it.
Oscar. And he has options available. Nice weight on the pass. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, let's take another look. And you have to say the defending is so poor. That's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. And back underway. Luca Bacchio. It's Torres now. And cutting it out. Ivan Martin. Dovbik. And Sevilla did well to regain possession. Marcos Acuna. Lucas Ocampos. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Artem Dovbik. Sevilla have the ball again. Loic Bade. Bade. Here's Marcos Acuna. Oscar. Good run, very much in control of the situation. And Sevilla will get the throw in. How about the cross? Useful ball to the near post. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and the visitors are prospering. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Perfect technique, but no reward, sadly, for him. Yeah, he's hit it really well, but I think he knew it was always going past the post. He's unlucky, though. Jesus Navas. It's Torres now. And they have possession again. Oscar. On to Ocampos. And Nesiri. Valeri and 
And they need to get tighter. Is it going to be? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Being pressed here. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. So that is that. The first 45 minutes have come and gone, and it's the visitors on top. Well, before the game, we talked about their defensive record, but it's the forwards who have been still in the limelight today. They've been so sharp, plenty of movement, and if the first half is anything to go by, I can see there being more goals in the second half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Dovbik. Herrera. Well, beating his opponent. It just needs to remain icy cool. Oh, that's an expert piece of defending, just as it was looking threatening. Pressing like that will help the cause. Well, this could really help the cause. And well positioned to clear. Oh, this looks useful. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Marcos Acuna. More football for you to enjoy from La Liga coming up here on EA TV. It's Sevilla against Villarreal. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Yusuf and Nesiri. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And there it is, a chance. A goal! Precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again, and there's the touch on the shot, but it's just not enough, is it? He'll be so frustrated that he didn't keep that out. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Ocampos. The tackle taken away. So a half an hour remaining. Promising looking ball. Will he finish? Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more live La Liga action for you to look forward to. It's Girona, and they'll be facing Mallorca. Acuna. Forced into the penalty area. Good piece of defending. Can he put it away? Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won. Vallejo. Garcia with it. And nothing comes of this attack.
and Naziri. Marcao has it. Oscar. Luca Bacchio. And he read it well, intercepting it. see about the cross and he did what he had to do defensively and teammates around him but really sticking to the task defensively Jesus Navas Played into the centre. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. And time for the change now. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And threading it through. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Marcao. Loic Bade. Now with Ocampos. Oscar. Well read to win possession back. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Marcos Acuna. Oscar, and running it back. Almost at full time, and I'll tell you what, playing away from their home patch has been a pleasant experience for them, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Martin. Teammates available, but they dealt with the threat posed. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Jesus Navas. Montiel. Here's Mia. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Manu Vallejo. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself on side. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay on side. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Manu Vallejo. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. 
And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know, but it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.